Hi all, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to understand the differences between network access control list, that is NACLs and security groups. Basically, the function of both is to control traffic flow and these acts as a firewall, I would say. And uh, let's see how they are different from each other. So here is a quick diagram that shows the positioning of both. So on the left hand side, you can see the network access control list or NACLs are placed at the subnet level. So basically they control the traffic flow to the subnet. And on the other hand, the security groups are attached to EC2 instances or I would say ENIs and they control the traffic flow to them. So let's see some differences between these two. So here is a table that we have created that shows the difference between any CLs and security group on certain parameters. The first parameter I would say is the rule type. So in NACL, we can have both allow and deny rules. So that means you can explicitly deny any traffic to the subnet. But on the other hand, in security group, we can only have allow rules. On base of association, so NACL as we have seen in the previous slide can be associated with at the subnet level. But security groups can be attached to EC2 or at ENI level. Next is that NACLs are stateless. That means they do not maintain any states. Or in order to pass any traffic inbound or outbound, you have to define both the rules. But security groups are stateful. So that means they maintain state. Or in other words, if you have an inbound rule, that means you are allowing any inbound traffic, then you need not to add the outbound rule for same. So outbound rule will be automatically allowed because they maintain state. In NACL, all the we have a rule, I would say order. So all the rules are processed in order. But in security groups, all the rules are evaluated before any any traffic is allowed or denied, I would say. Suppose there is an inbound traffic that is coming in, then NACL will be the first layer of defense. So if you have allowed that traffic from NACL, then only it can reach to, to EC2, I would say, and their security group will act as a second layer of defense. On the other hand, if there is some outbound traffic, that means traffic is flowing from EC2 towards, let's say, internet, then NACL will be second layer and security group will be the first layer of defense. NACL can be attached one per subnet, so that means one subnet can have only one NACL attached to it, but security groups, there can be multiple security groups that can be attached to the subnets. In NACL, for destination, you can have only ciders. That means you have to define some IP ranges as destination. But uh, in security group, you can have cider specific IPs, and you can also reference other security groups in uh, as a destination, basically. So this is the theoretical part. Let's go quickly to the AWS console and we'll see some major or these parameters, how these are configured at both the levels. So this is the AWS console. First we'll see NACL. So if you can see, this is uh, the NACL console. Here, if I just open some rules, which already exist, so you can see here, there is a rule number. As I said, all the rules are processed in order. Here you can see there is a option to add allow or deny any traffic. And the only thing that you have in the destination uh, because this is an inbound rule source, you can add only the IP ranges. Similar for outbound rules also, you can have allow or deny. And uh, as these are associated with subnets and I said there can be only one NACL per subnet. So if I just select any subnet, and you can see we can edit NACL association so we can select one NACL at a time. On the other hand, if I just go to subnets or security groups, sorry. So here you can see security groups, there are inbound rules. If I just quickly edit any one. So here you can see we can only allow because there is no specific field for allow or deny. We can add rules. In the source, I, I would say we can have IP ranges or I can just reference other security groups. And similar for the outbound rules. Yeah. 
So this is all for this video. Thanks for watching this.